If you're a senior struggling to sleep, you've probably tried everything to get a better night's rest. But have you really tried everything? In this video, I'm gonna walk through one of my new favorite techniques for getting better sleep. And I bet you've probably never even thought of trying this one before. Hey everyone, I'm Dr. Michael Bruce, the sleep doctor. I'm sure you're aware of the role your senses play in helping you get deep, lasting sleep. You've heard me talk before about the importance of minimizing light disruption or masking noise. Even your sense of touch has a huge impact on your sleep by the way of the temperature of your environment. But one sense I don't talk about a lot, smell. That's right, your sense of smell has a huge impact on the quality of your sleep, especially if you're a senior. Using specific scents at bedtime can trigger your brain to enter relaxation mode, leading to deeper and longer lasting sleep. I wanna be clear, this is not just my opinion, there's a ton of research out there showing the connection between scent and sleep quality for seniors. In case you don't believe me, in a 2021 study of over 1,600 seniors from the Journal of Complementary Therapies in Medicine concluded definitively that aromatherapy improved sleep quality and reduced stress, pain, anxiety, depression, and fatigue in adults and elderly people. I've got more research I'll share in the description below, so I encourage you to check that out. But in the meantime, let's talk about how smell works, why it has a huge impact on your sleep, and then I'll walk through my favorite strategies on how you can use these powerful senses to get better rest. Inside your brain is a network called the limbic system. It includes your thalamus, your hypothalamus, your amygdala, and your hippocampus. Think of this as your emotional headquarters. Most senses like vision or hearing first stop at the neocortex, which handles thinking and decision-making before they get processed emotionally. But here's the fascinating part. Smell is the only one of your senses that has a direct pathway into this emotional center of your brain, the part of your brain that controls stress, memory, as well as emotion. That's why a single whiff of perfume can instantly remind you of your grandmother or why the smell of cookies can transport you back to your childhood kitchen. So what does that have to do with sleep? Well, when you breathe in a scent, it travels straight to the limbic system. And because it lands in the limbic system, it can trigger these powerful emotional as well as physiological responses. The right scent can tell your brain to pump the brakes, literally releasing something called GABA, the neurotransmitter that helps you relax. If you're not familiar, GABA is what I call the brakes of the brain. It slows down overactivity, reduces stress signals, and allows your body to relax. The more active GABA is, the easier it is for you to fall asleep and stay asleep. It's kind of like flipping your brain switch from on to off. Beyond the physiological side, scent can also have a huge psychological impact on your sleep. When you repeatedly pair a specific scent with bedtime, your brain begins to associate that scent with the process of winding down and falling asleep. This is a form of classical conditioning. Much like Pavlov's famous experiment with his dog, if you remember back from high school science class. Also remember that rituals create consistency, and consistency is key to good sleep. Scent becomes part of a multisensory signal that it's time to relax. So the right scent at the right time can shift your brain, boom, into relaxation mode, releasing chemicals into your body that will help lower your stress and prepare you for deeper, more restorative sleep. So now that we know the why behind scent and its role in your sleep, let's talk about how you can actually get better rest. But before I get to that, if you're on Medicare, there's a good chance that you might be on the wrong plan and not even know it. I was talking to one of my older patients the other day and he told me he switched his Medicare plan last year and he's already saved over $1,000. And he did it using a free service called Chapter. And when I looked into it myself, I honestly wish I had known about it sooner. Chapter advisors will make sure your doctors are covered, they explore every plan available to your area, and they even check to see if you qualify for extra benefits. And they can compare all of your options in about 20 minutes. So if you want real, unbiased help with Medicare, give Chapter a call at 912-809-3127. You'll talk to a real person who will help you figure out exactly which plan is right for you for free. So when it comes to using scent to improve your sleep, there are two things to keep in mind. Number one is what specific scents you are using because believe it or not, that actually does matter. And number two is the delivery method of that scent. When it comes to delivery methods, the first one I wanna talk about are scented candles. You may love having scented candles around your home, but I definitely do not want you using them for aromatherapy before bed. Why? Let's be honest. 
fire and sleep don't mix, okay? But there are a lot of other options that you can look into, such as pillow sprays. You may have seen these before. Basically, it's a little spray bottle where you can lightly mist your pillow with a specific scent, and when you lay down to go to sleep, you can inhale that scent, which will both trigger your classical conditioning response and kickstart your body's release of GABA. Another popular option is an essential oil diffuser. How these work is you put five to 10 drops of an essential oil into the diffuser with water, and you run it for 30, 60 minutes before bed and while falling asleep. Diffusers can work well for sleep, but they do cost a little bit more money and you gotta spend time cleaning them. But what I actually think the best option is, and what I use personally, is what's called a sachet or a pillow insert. This is a small, soft fabric pouch that you can fill with fragrant materials, and it's designed to be placed inside or near your pillow to release a subtle, calming scent that helps with relaxation and sleep. They're cheap, they're mess-free, and just as effective as the other delivery methods. Plus, you can easily make one on your own at home. I found a great YouTube video about how to make them and I'll share it in the description below. Now that we've talked about delivery methods, let's talk about specific scents because I meant, as I mentioned earlier, this can have a huge impact as well. But before I get to that, do me a favor, hit the like and subscribe button. By supporting the channel, I get to keep making great content just like the video you're watching right now. And while you're at it, do me a favor, check out the website sleepdoctor.com. You'll find tons of resources there, including articles, product reviews, and tools to help you get the best night's sleep. I'll leave a link below in the description. Now, there are three specific scents that have been studied and are shown to have the biggest impact on your sleep. The last one in particular is my personal favorite and has some fascinating data around it. The first one I wanna talk about is chamomile. You probably know chamomile from drinking it in herbal teas. Chamomile contains epigen, a natural compound that binds to GABA receptors. So it's great for calming the nervous system and easing mild anxiety before bed or restlessness. And better yet, it's one of the more gentle scents of all the ones I'm going to discuss, making it ideal for those with sensitivity to stronger smells. The next one is called Ylang Ylang. Ylang Ylang is a tropical flower with a sweet floral scent. And believe it or not, it's known to slow your heart rate, lower blood pressure, and reduce levels of cortisol, our main stress hormone. It also promotes emotional calm, making it particularly useful when your brain won't stop spinning at night. Now, the scent that by far has the biggest impact on senior sleep, and the one I would really recommend if you're interested in trying this out yourself, is the one you've probably heard of, lavender. Lavender is arguably the most studied scent when it comes to sleep. Lavender has been shown to improve sleep quality in people with insomnia by increasing their deep sleep and helping lower their heart rate. It also can decrease the amount and intensity of nighttime wake-ups. That's because lavender contains a compound called linalol. Not to get too sciencey, but these compounds act through the olfactory system and target GABAergic neurons in the central amygdala. Remember, GABA is the brakes of the brain. This pathway helps shorten the time it takes to fall asleep, increasing both non-REM sleep and enhancing deep, slow-wave sleep. So to recap, if you wanna try this for yourself, Here's what I recommend you do. The first is to choose your delivery method. Pillow sprays and diffusers work great, although I personally love a good sachet. Next, choose a scent like chamomile, ylang ylang, or just go for the best one, lavender. And now commit to using the same method and scent every day for at least three weeks or 21 days. You might start to see the impact of this right away, but it's always best to give your body a full circadian cycle to adjust to this change and start getting the full sleep promoting benefits. So as you can see, scent isn't just about making your room smell nice, it can be a direct pathway to your brain's emotional and sleep centers. And by using the right aromas, you'll be able to calm your nervous system, reduce your stress, and set yourself up for deeper, more refreshing sleep. Now, I wanna hear from you. Have you tried using aromatherapy or calming scents at night? Did it work for you? Do me a favor, let me know in the comments and if you're someone who struggles with waking up in the middle of the night, check out my video right here. That's it for this one. This is Dr. Michael Bruce, the sleep doctor, wishing you sweet dreams.